Hello everyone, this is Virin and welcome to the fantasy match preview for the game between Hyderabad and Punjab. This game is going to be really interesting, played at DY Patel. Apart from that, remember to join the fan to play leaderboard where the top three winners go to Australia, watch the T20 World Cup finals. And apart from that, there are lots of cash prizes and the Grand League to be won. So go and make 25 teams now. So first up, we'll talk about the keepers and the batsmen. I'm going with two keepers, Nicholas Puran and Johnny Besto. Now this is the battle of X's where Johnny Besto has gone to Punjab while Nicholas has come from Punjab into Hyderabad. So I think both of them will want to prove a point, especially with Puran who did have a really lean patch with Punjab in the start. While Besto on the other end played really well for Hyderabad and still didn't get the cut. So I think both of them are great GL captaincy choices. Apart from that, you have five batsmen in this game. Kane Williamson, who will be my captaincy choice, he's the stable batter. Again, got a decent start in the last game, didn't convert, but he will do so sooner rather than later. Rahul Tripathi, who looked an exclusive and amazing touch, so becomes a really, really good choice. And apart from that, my third pick would be Aiden Markram. Now, Aiden Markram seemed to pick up the pace really well in those middle overs. And I feel that if he plays chair well, then this attack might be right down his alley. Apart from that, my two batters from Punjab, Shikhar Dhawan, who is an ex-Hyderabad player and was also their ex-captain at a point. So again, he has some points to prove and I think if he plays Bhuvneshwar well, then he should be able to get through this team. And the last pick would be Mayank Agarwal, who seems to have found his form back. And again, his only key matchup against is against Bhuvneshwar. So if he plays him out well, then you can expect a good amount of runs from him too. And therefore, I'm going batting heavy in this game. And now we're on to the all-rounders and the bowler section. Only one all-rounder for me in this game, Liam Livingston, who has been batting decently. He has been batting a little bit of haste at times and he's bowling the odd occasional over. And therefore, a good enough vice-captaincy choice, especially on this ground. Apart from that, three bowlers for me, Kagizo Rabada, who's actually being really surprisingly also providing us with good amount of batting value. Rahul Chair, who did have a little bit of rough outing against Brewers, but apart from that, he did come back really well in that game itself. So that shows you the toughness of the man. And the last pick would be Natrajan, who has been my GL captain's pick across many games and he's been proving so why he's not only picking up wickets at the death, but even at the start, so becomes a really good choice for you. Apart from that, if we see that there is some grass on the pitch, Bhuvneshwar can be a good pick in place of one of the batters, but that would be based on the conditions. So finally, this is what the team looks like for us today. We have gone with two keepers, five batsmen, one all-rounder and three bowlers. Really interesting and you have a lot of other options, especially in the bowling section as well as a few all-rounders. So based on the conditions, you can make your final choices. And now we're on to the matchup section where you can pick and drop your GL players. For me in this game, there are three key matchups Bhuvneshwar versus Dhawan as well as Agarwal. He's dismissed both of them only once, but he's kept them quiet pretty much at a strike rate of below 110. And keep in mind, these are similar numbers as what Gil had, and Gil finally did get dismissed to him in that last game. Apart from that, my third matchup for this game would be Williamson versus Rabada. Again, Rabada has dismissed him only once but not really that exaggerating strike rate that you would see Williamson have or dominance against a pace bowler. So yeah, that should be an interesting matchup in this game. Now we're on to the fan to play challenge section where you can make your team with just two, three or four players. For me in this game, I'm going with two picks. Kane Williamson, who's looking in stable touch. And apart from that, Liam Livingston, who's a very, very explosive batter and can give you some bowling as well. So you two go make your picks now and join us on the Telegram channel for your final updates, second innings team and lots more.